I can use converters to help clean up some of the code that I've shown in some of the demos here by moving some of the logic out of the templates where I don't really want them to be back over to the behavioral side in the JavaScript where they belong. So let's take a look at the converter demo, 5.2 converters, and we run this here. There's two places that we can really take advantage of converters. First, in this message we're printing out based upon the price of the item. If it's under $1,000, we're going to say it's a great value. If it's over $1,000, we're just going to say great price. A little bit of marketing there. So we can see the Taylor Baby Guitar is a super hot value. So we want to render that based upon a value of the price and did put a different message there using a converter. Second, with the actual images here, the images are coming out, it's just what's the image name, not the path to URL. So what I want to do is instead of saying, if there's an image name, go ahead and use their no image icon. And if there is an image name, put the fully qualified URL in there. I want to move that if then logic out of my JSON or template, which I can do, but instead move it over to my behavioral side. So let's take a look at the code. And here we can see in 5.2 converters, we're using this music medium with converter template. If we come down to look at that template, first we can see this small tag up here. We can say if the sales price is less than a thousand, use a super hot value, otherwise use great price. You know, it's not a lot of logic, but it still is logic and there's no need to have it up here. So let's write a converter that actually handles this for us. Before I write the converter, I like to first take a look at what would I like the syntax to look like instead. So I'd rather have something like a small here where I've got my JS render tag and instead of just rendering out the sale price and with the value, I can instead say, well, I want to evaluate the sale price because that's like the condition and I'll create a converter called price alert. So that would look a lot simpler saying, go ahead and use the price alert converter on the sale price to change it from a number like $500 over to a string. So let's remove that super hot value right there. And let's go over to the converters file where I've got jsvendor.converters.js. And in here we can see a price alert. So the price alert, we've got a couple things going on. First, we have a value, which is getting passed in as a parameter. So our value comes in, and that's gonna be the sale price. If it's less than a thousand, we'll print out super hot value. Otherwise, it's great price. So now if we go back and we run our code over here, assuming I saved, we can still see the value of a great price right here and super hot value down there. Pretty easy. So the next thing I want to do is get rid of that if then logic for my photos right here. So I've got this if there's a main gallery photo, then use the source URL. And now notice I'm doing this ugly mess where I've got find the image's location, and then I'm embedding JS render to put out the photo name right there. Because the photo name doesn't have the URL in it, it just has the name of the file. And then if there is no photo, then I use this fully qualified path or the no image. That's a lot of logic that I really don't want to be in this particular place. And I might reuse this logic in other places. So a converter makes a lot of sense. So let's go ahead and figure out again, how would we want this to look? Well, without that syntax there, instead, I probably want to have an image tag here and I'll self close the image tag and I want a source. And it'd be nice to just say, well, that value is the gallery main photo. So I definitely want to say gallery main photo. And then in there, I want that main photo to display. So I could do that. Now at this point, that's just going to use the source of the name of the file. So unless that file is in the same location I'm at, it's not going to work. And if it doesn't exist, I'm in trouble. So instead I could say ensure URL. So we'll get rid of this logic here. Now we just say inside that div, create an image tag and use the ensure URL converter. You get the value of the gallery's main photo. So in my converters, I've got this ensure URL converter I created using the views.converters. And I accept in the value of that image name. And then based on that image name, first of all, it exists. Just concatenate it with this image's location and then the value of the file. If the value of that name doesn't exist at all, if there is no image, then we're going to go ahead and use this no icon image. So our converter is all set up. Our syntax, our template got a lot simpler. Notice how clean it is now. I'm just displaying out the model brand. I'm displaying out the pricing, the price alert converter, and I'm using the create stars tag we did before. And I'm using this ensure URL converter. Let's go run our code and make sure it still works. And I refresh the page and everything's still good. All the images are showing up. Notice my no icon is still showing up as well. So this shows how you can use the converters function to simplify your code with JS Render.